welcome today's web session on what's new with Adaptive Insights. My name is Megan Addy and I'm a consulting manager with Armanino. I'm going to take you through some exciting new features and enhancements recently released. This video will focus on adaptive planning updates which are now available to all customers including administration changes, reporting, and Excel interface for planning. There are also a considerable amount of changes to modeling which we are not going to cover in this video. If you are an advanced user and responsible for your firm's modeling, please reach out to your adaptive consultant for an overview of these new features and upgrades. You can also reference the user guides provided by Adaptive Insights and available to you by clicking on Support, then Product Documents from the menu within your adaptive model. First, with heavy heart, I must tell you that the classic view within formulas and reports is no more. But don't look at this as losing an old and reliable friend. Look at it as gaining an opportunity to learn something new. And if you are new to adaptive, you won't even know the difference. So bonus for you. Next, there have been some changes to the user experience. Without removing any functionality, all of the user permissions and system functionality are now under administration, and all of the model-related functions are now grouped under modeling. By grouping the maintenance features together, it's easier to find them. Administration is shown here, and modeling is shown here. The next new features pertain to user settings. First, administrators will now be able to view the log of all user login and logout times. This will be filterable, searchable, and printable. Second, a new option for password reset management can be set to force users to change their passwords after logging in and using the password assigned to them by someone else. By default, this option is not selected. There are quite a few updates to reporting, the first of which is reusable reports. Report building blocks allows you to use pieces or building blocks of an existing report as building blocks for constructing new reports or for updating other pre-existing reports. This feature allows you to flag a report as a reusable and once the report is reusable you're able to use those building blocks from row, column, and sheet tab axis. Just drop the selected building block on your new or pre-existing matrix report. And this differs from saving a copy of a report where all of the pieces are saved and get reused. With report building blocks, you choose the blocks that you want to use and you'll be able to create a library of reusable reports to aid in more efficient report building. Another new feature is suppressing rollups. A matrix report can now be flattened so that only leaf levels display. All system generated rollups will be suppressed. Flattened reports output in a format suitable for an Excel pivot table or external data warehouse where input is expected as enumerated dimensionally tagged rows of data. Suppressed rollups conceals rollups of expanded elements in the matrix report builder. And this next update is additional notes functionality. You can now display report notes in a column on your report in the rightmost column. Further, long notes can be truncated for viewing with an ellipsis so users can click more to expand the text. An enhancement to repeating reports is now available where the header of a repeating report spreadsheet now automatically includes the element name and the value is used in the label of each tab. Also, if you have been fighting your company logo that automatically is included on your Excel exports, fight no more. The logo can now be suppressed. All Excel reports created before this release will have the option checked to show the logo. So if you want to change that, you'll need to go into the report properties and uncheck the box as seen here. You can now control how deep to expand the element hierarchy and how it appears on the matrix report, which improves usability when designing matrix reports. Excel Interface for Planning was released last year and is available to all users with sheet access. If you missed that release, you can revisit my last videos posted last year on this same YouTube channel because we will only cover updates and new features today. The first of which is the ability to merge pending sheet changes. You can refresh standard, modeled, and cube sheets with the latest planning data without losing any of your pending changes. You can also reestablish your session after it times out or when you're working offline without losing pending changes by selecting Refresh and Merge My Changes. Rollups, splits, and other pending changes are retained for a seamless experience when working offline and reestablishing your online session. 
and a huge win, you can now retain Excel formulas in offline adaptive planning models and push the resolved number to the server. Once you apply an Excel formula to a cell in a sheet, when you submit your changes, only the resolved value is saved back to adaptive, not the Excel formula. The formula is retained in the cell locally. Note that this only applies when there are no changes that will discard the formula, including when you switch versions, levels, or accounts, or change the view from view by account to view by level, or also if you change the display options to exclude the intersection where the formula exists. And finally, you can now open sheets that have multiple versions and view version comparisons from the Excel interface for planning. A sheet with multiple versions will display a legend in the task pane indicating the color of the column to the corresponding comparison version. In addition, you can change and select multiple versions from display options from Excel Interface for Planning. So that's it for today. These exciting new tools and enhancements are live now, so you can start using them immediately. I've also released a companion video covering release updates with processes, discovery, and Office Connect, so check that one out too if you use those tools. And please join me in future webcasts discussing new features and helpful hints to better optimize your user experience of Adaptive Insights. As always, feel free to reach out to me or anyone on our team with additional questions. I hope you have enjoyed these few minutes of power learning, and have a wonderful day.